when you're transpartisan, kind of like how I was describing earlier, free ops approach where we use markets to achieve what are thought of as progressive policy outcomes, if you can show how your, how your approach to an issue can reach the same conclusion as what they're trying to do, then hopefully you can get some more people on board. And I'm not talking about Bernie Sanders or Elizabeth Warren, but I am talking about Tulsi Gabbard or, you know, uh, Kirsten Cinema or Joe Manchin. Yeah. And so that's kind of our approach is to be transpartisan. So it's really great to hear that you guys take the same. And it um, it it sort of blows up this idea, um, and. I'm, I've never quite bought the left versus right thing. It strikes mm-hmm. me more as authoritarian top-down versus decentralized choice-based mm-hmm. solutions to things. And that that can sort of cross partisan lines sometimes. Mm-hmm. I mean, but you still have this, this iron, um, you know, there's a reason why Washington, D.C. produces crony capitalist outcomes. Mm-hmm. And, and those people are a lot more powerful than you and I are. And they have all those interests. So the the alternative has to be getting people to care about this stuff. And when you're talking with everyday Americans who aren't in all of the political discussions like we are, you know, they, right or left, you mention a few things. And these are the three points that I think that we should coalesce around in our movement, which are being anti-crony capitalism cracking down on monopoly power specifically where the government has instated that monopoly. And then the third, which is a little bit different from what we're talking about today, is the whole cancel culture. You know, I talk with a lot of young people and uh, they are not really on board with um, with the entire cancel culture. They believe in redemption and forgiveness and certainly want to hold people accountable and don't want to say things that are not politically correct just to do so. But they are more amenable to having an open discussion and keeping the Overton window of acceptable ideas as big as possible. Yeah, I'm I'm really hoping that that Zoomers are sort of the counter-revolution Um, Because it strikes me that without sort of that tolerance and empathy that is free speech, um, I'm not sure how we fix anything. Yeah, absolutely. Because people are just afraid to speak. Right. And when you look at the other side as your enemy versus somebody who you want to work together and convince, then, you know, that's just not a good game plan for getting people on board with your ideas anyways. Yeah, and, I, and that's one of, another one of those issues um, that I think sort of crosses the traditional left-right thing. Um, guys like Glenn Greenwald, who I'm sure I disagree with on some pretty important things, has been against sort of the authoritarian rise of, of cancel culture and, and intolerance. And, and to me, there's common ground there. 